Hi everyone and welcome back to Christmas Eve Vlogmas Day 24. We made it! <laughs> I'm sure all the other YouTubers are happy. Uh, it's hard work putting out a video every day but it was very enjoyable as well. Yes, so this is uh, Christmas Eve. I hope you're all doing well. having a great weekend. So we have made it. We've made it to Vlogmas Day 24, Christmas Eve. So I thought I would sit on my red chair if it was appropriate. And I had my t-shirt on. This was from Courtney. Uh, Merry Christmas, y'all, with the little piggy. I love it. And I have a puppy down here at my feet. Hopefully she's going to go to sleep. Yeah. So she was spoken for. And um, the guy that was taking her, his wife wanted another boxer. And she went out to see a boxer yesterday. And I haven't heard from them since. So I'm assuming she got the boxer. Yeah, she had to go out to Winnipeg. So anyways, and that is fine. She can stay with us for a little bit longer. I'm going to get into some Christmas cards because I, I received them and I hung them up. And then after I thought... I should have showed those on my videos. So I just have the three cards here. Um, make sure none of them have addresses on the back. Oh, the little one does. All right, so there's three cards. Two big ones and a little one. So let's open. I know this one here is from my parents. So we will open it. And it says, Merry Christmas. And it's an old-fashioned downtown with some skaters. This actually came from Cancer Research Society. And it says, wishing you both a very Merry Christmas. Uh, hope 2024 will be a great year for you both. Love, Mom and Dad. It says, wishing you old-fashioned pleasures, happy memories, and all the joys of the season. So I got that card. Now, I do keep everything um, in a keepsake box. After, so I'm going to hang these up, but I will keep the envelopes but to put them back in. I also got this one. This one is beautiful. It's all glittery, and it's Santa reading his uh, list, and he's got the sleigh all ready to go. There's a little bit of glitter on this, too. And this says, uh, may you experience the magic that is Christmas this season. It says, uh, wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and wishing a Happy New Year filled with good health, love, and laughter. Love, Gail and Alan. So Gail has a channel. It's Gail Patricia's A Dollar Tree Halls and more. So I will try and remember to link her channel down below. That was beautiful. And then the little one that I got, I can't lift it up because it's writing on both sides. So, uh... This one is cute. It says season's greeting and, and it's little tr houses and trees. Isn't that beautiful? This is a Hallmark card. And it says, I hope your corner of the world is filled with happiness and the holidays are always. To my favorite little funny farm, <laughs> I hope your holiday season is filled with beautiful memories made. Love Jacqueline Gallant. And Jacqueline has a channel also, and her channel is her name, Jacqueline Gallant. So I will try and remember to list both of these channels down below. Yeah, so that was nice to get um, some mail. Now, if you remember yesterday, oh, I'll show you what my drink of choice is. It's the uh, Cranberry Ginger Ale by Canada Dry. Oh, it's so delicious. I wish they would sell it year round. So I am going to have to stock up on some. Yeah, it's so good. I hope you have a drink in hand because it might be a little bit of a long video. So I can't show you the bag you came in. They got stickers on both sides. But if you remember yesterday, I mentioned that I was going to share a box from Ireland. So I'm just taking it out of the bag here because they have stickers on both sides, I guess, because it was international. So uh, here it goes. It says, Ireland forever. It says, Erin, go brown your heart on the side. It's all green. All right, so we need to rip this open. Good thing I brought my scratch knife. 
All right. So, he is ready. I'm going to open it so you guys can peek in first. Oh, it's all wrapped up. That is beautiful in the little thatched cottage. They have a, it uh, says, enjoy your little pieces of Ireland. It says, snap and share, hashtag, Ireland forever box. So I will do that. So they got these stickers all over it. This is beautiful. I was born in Belfast, which is Northern Ireland up here, but I've been to the whole, through the whole country. It's beautiful. And I want to take Sean there because Sean has never been to Ireland. So we have to plan a trip. I told him we should do um, like a tour trip because then we won't have to drive ourselves and I'll go and see castles and stuff that I haven't seen myself because I come over to Canada when I was young. And so I went to school and everything here. Oh my goodness, this is nice. There is a postcard, greetings from Ireland. Isn't that beautiful? So I got that. Where am I gonna put this stuff? Oh, Sean's gonna love this. It is uh, a tea towel. And it's the, uh, what does it say? Dublin, Ireland. It is the Guinness tea towel. Guinness Extra Stout, 1759. I'm not gonna open it. I'll show, I'll let him open it later. Whenever he gets home, I mean, I was so used to having him home for two and a half months that he went out to work and the two of us are heartbroken. We really are heartbroken to be apart. Uh, most of our marriage, we have been together 24 seven cause I did drive truck with them. And it was just so nice to have him in the house with me. So he said, this is never going to happen again. And, uh, I just keep saying, can we not put a driver in our truck and you stay home with me? This is beautiful. It's absolutely amazing quality. It's probably hundred percent cotton. The Guinness Ireland collection is a celebration of an extraordinary brand. No other brand is as country as Guinness is to Ireland. The history of Guinness, like Ireland, is a stirring tale of inspiration, dedication, in in gen in duetic, in I don't know how to pronounce that word, ingenuity and effort. The Guinness Ireland collection captures the unique relationship between Guinness and Ireland. It is the story of how a unique Irish stout became with a little magic, one of the world's best loved beers. Now, my dad told me that um, they used to give people Guinness in the hospital, that it was good for you. I don't like the taste of it. Sean does. What else did we get? Brownie cookie shots. Ooh, a little of what you fancy. Our finest vegan mini brownie cookies. <laughs> there we go, we're getting some cookies. So yeah, that's, they're really into all this um, gluten-free and stuff over there as well. They never were, but, and vegan, but it's all, it's all started. Those are nice. Oh my goodness. Let me see. Let me see if I could, I'm just, I don't want to throw it on the floor. I'll put it on the stool. But after I took those out, look, this is absolutely a beautiful box from Ireland. This was a little... Merry Christmas to me. This is Butler's chocolate and it's honeycomb crisp milk chocolate. Now that sounds delicious and I've never heard of Butler's chocolate. So that's gonna be good. Look at that little chocolate bar. Enjoy that later. Oh my goodness, I don't know what to pull out next. Let's pull out this Irish flavored tea collection. Oh, these look delicious. And they're little tins. There is a Irish cream flavored tea, Irish whiskey flavored tea, and Irish wild berry tea. That looks amazing. And as you know, I love my teas and I collect these little tins and stuff. So that's a win as well. What a beautiful box. They've got some of this in there. I also got some marmalade Irish whiskey. Ah, this is awesome. They knew me, they do. Looks a little watery though. Yeah, I love my Irish whiskey. 
Little jar of marmalade, so that's fun. Ooh, this looks like a piece of jewelry. This is exciting. How do I open it? Oh, that is beautiful. It is a silver necklace with the clada. The clada is uh, the two hands over a heart with the crown on top. There you go. A beautiful. I wear a gold, my Celtic cross, but now I have this to wear. Isn't that beautiful? So excited. Now, there's something wrapped up in here too. This is a fun gift to open on Christmas Eve. Yeah, I just wish Sean was here to open it with me. I'll put it all back in the box so I can show him everything that I got. Oh my goodness, it's wrapped well. <gasps> it's a little um, tea bag holder. Impressions Ireland. And oh my goodness, it's got the double decker. It's got the violin and the boots and the sheep and the harp and the mailbox and tea, tea and saucer. How sweet is that? This is actually just going to go right into that cabinet. I have a lot of Irish stuff in there. Love that too. All right, we're going to move this. Ah, what do I, what do I pick out next? Woo! Guinness beef and onion gravy mix. Oh, wow. We're going to enjoy that over some roast beef. A delicious, rich, luxurious, thick beef flavored gravy with the familiar essence of Guinness to take your family favorite meals to the next level. <gasps> Sean's going to love that. <laughs> For sure. Now, what is this? Big Red Kitchen. Brown soda bread mix, ah! Homemade in Ireland in small batches. Wow, I love soda bread. So I'll be in the kitchen making this soda bread for Sean and I. Wow. Should I open it? Where'd that knife go? This is an amazing box. Wow. I think they do a monthly subscription. I may look into that because I love anything from home. Let's open it up and see. So they just have it in a, this brown paper bag. It looks like a bag of oats. <laughs> yeah. Is there instructions on it on what to do? see any oh here we go combined bread mix with 300 ml or one and a quarter cups of whole milk and an egg pour into a parchment lined loaf pan and bake in a preheated oven at one sorry at 350 for 45 to 50 minutes until nicely golden optionally top with pine head oatmeal or seeds for extra crunch. I will make that when Sean comes home. And when you're baking bread, you need an oven mitt and a pot holder. <gasps> Real Irish stew recipe. Now I do actually have, um, my daughter brought me back one from Ireland and there's a recipe on it too. But here is how you make Irish stew. And I've always said this, I even said this to Sean, the real way to make Irish stew is with lamb. And guess what? One and a half pound neck of lamb cut into cutlets. Two large onions peeled and sliced. One pound of potatoes peeled and sliced and weighed after preparation. Two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley. One teaspoon of fresh chopped thyme. Salt and black pepper. Half to three quarter pint of water. Now they're making it in the oven in a, uh, in a, what do you call those? Dutch oven. I always make mine on the top of the stove. Oh, I love this. <laughs> and there's 
more. There is more. Wow. We got cards. This is Ireland's Holy Mountain in Croge Patrick Mountain, County Mayo in Ireland. Look at that. And then it says like Merry Christmas in Gaelic. That is beautiful. And then this one is some sheep. Here, what does this one say? Winter in Ireland. So they do get a little bit of snow. They don't get a lot. It, it falls and it's gone the next day. Again, it's got some Gaelic on the back. So this box oh, was amazing. Wow, I got a lot of stuff. Let's count. Let's count while I put it all back. One. Oh, and the bread. Two. And the gravy. Three. Brownies. Four. G marmalade is five. Tea. I love this tea. Is six. This Guinness uh, towel is seven. Perfect to go down in the bar. Chocolate bar is eight. And my beautiful Clada necklace is 10. 10 items in this box. Love, love, love it. All right. Ah! All right, that was so fun to open. What a nice gift to open for Christmas. Especially when you don't know what you're getting, right? You don't know what's in it. Let me just pack all this up again. So I don't have a little, oh yes, oh, forgot about that. This is number 11 then, 11, and then another postcard, remember? Wow, I would highly recommend one of these if you were into some products from Ireland. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, let's get into Vlogmas Day 24. Uh, it is right here, Ooh, right here. Let's see what we get. Oh, we get a double, but you know what? It wasn't a double, was it? Oh, yes. This is the one that had that 24. Like if I rip out 24, and then it had this one. So it, 24 was a double. You get two regular chocolates. All right, so that is that done. That's complete. And it was actually one big box when you look at it. So no more Fiero Rocher for Caroline. <laughs> That's who we'll go to recycling. If you hear somebody at the door, it's Jameson. He wanted out, he wants in. He wants out, he wants in. Alrighty, let's do day 24 on this, which is also the last one. So day 24. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be a little bear. The last one was gonna be a little bear after all those balls I was getting. That's fun. And so, yeah, that's this calendar done also. We're done. Oh, maybe I should have kept one up to lean on just a sec. All right, I've lost my knife now too. Anybody else get disorganized like this? Did it fall into that? box I just opened. I don't know where it went. I have my pen, but I don't have my knife. Oh boy, I'll just scratch it with my nails. We'll see how that works. I prefer not to do that. Let me go get uh, a knife. All right, were you guys all yelling? You're sitting on it. It was at the side of the chair here. <laughs> all right, let's do mine first. Oh, Jameson. Jameson down. There's a chair there for you to sit on. He wants this chair. All right, 24 has the little holly. Let's do 24. And 24, I got $500, $35, $10,000 and a reindeer. I know I had a reindeer before. That was my second reindeer worth $10,000. Wouldn't that be nice? 
All right, let's do Sean's. 24. Why did I not scratch 23 on his yesterday? Did I forget? I must have. All right, we're scratching Sean's 23. It's weird that they didn't scratch it. So Sean, for yesterday, he got $40, 35, 50,000 and a train. Has he had a train yet? Where, oh, where would a train be? This is his second train worth $50. Now let's do his scratch for today since apparently I forgot. So 24. Got a lot of fives. <laughs> All right, it has 500, 500, 50,000 and an elf. All right, where is the little elf? That's his first elf and it is worth $1,000. All right, so seeing that it is Christmas Eve, tomorrow is Christmas day. Um, I don't really have anything to make a video with for tomorrow. And I know everyone's gonna be busy anyway, so I'm gonna take tomorrow off. I'm making this my very last uh, vlogmas day. So I am gonna go ahead and scratch 25 and the bonus. So that, uh, yeah, everybody, you know, I won't have a video up and I might do what I got for Christmas sometime next week. That's how I'm gonna do it. So let's scratch, is this mine or his? Yeah. Let's scratch Christmas Day. Christmas Day is a big one. Oh, Christmas Day is where you have to scan your card. I got a train. All right, let's see. I'm putting this on the step stool there. Ah, 535, 10,000. Oh, sorry, I just did that one. <gasps> 100, 50,000 and 50,000, that would have been nice. And a train. So I don't know how many trains I have. This is my second train. All right, I'll do Sean's and then we'll do the bonus at the bottom. We will. I was looking for this. All right. 25. You see how big it is with the presents? It's because it's got the barcode to scan there as well. And you know what? I didn't do any of the online either. I gotta go online today and do that. That is a must. Whoa. That's funny because his barcode is on the top. Mine was on the bottom. But he did win. Remember his, tick, his card is a uh, a $30 winner. So he ended up with 1,000, 1,000 and a $50 and an elf. That's Sean's. And we're looking for that little elf again. So that was his second elf for $1,000. All right, we're gonna go back to mine. and I have a blue bonus, so we're gonna scratch that. Mine says good tidings, good tidings. So my ticket was not a winner, but I did forget all about this bottom part. Enter online for your chance to win. So I guess I better do that. You can win cash, trips, electronics, and more. Draw entry deadline is 4.30 p.m. January 12th. I shall go and do that this afternoon. So that was mine. mine did not win unless I win something down on there. And this one is Sean's and he's got a green bonus left. So let's scratch his bonus. You got a tired little puppy beside me. He got happy holidays. 
So anyway, yeah, Sean's was a winner. It was a $30 winner. I'm just kind of looking to see what day that was. He won that on day 17. Yeah, that one. That one right there where my finger is. So these are fun to do, you know, something to do for right up till Christmas Eve. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. So I really enjoyed doing Vlogmas this year. And I hope that you all enjoyed uh, watching my Vlogmas. And uh, have a beautiful, lovely day tomorrow with family and friends. And stay safe. If you are driving, be careful. Stay safe. And I hope the weather is wonderful for everybody. Yeah, today's really nice here. It's so mild. Um, the chickens are outside. Molly's outside. The boys, well, RJ, actually, I think RJ and Jameson are both sleeping upstairs. The little ones dropped here. <laughs> she's so cute. She plays away, and then the next minute, she's all curled up sleeping wherever she was playing. Yeah. So, yeah, she's staying with us for now. Um, the holidays is not the right time to be adopting animals anyway, with all the hustle and bustle and she, she's settled in. She's um, using the puppy pads for me. Uh, she lets me know when she wants to go out. And it's like, yeah, we'll keep her for now. All right, so I'll see you uh, sometime next week. I may do a what I got for Christmas. And yeah, take care. Have a beautiful Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And I'll catch you next week. Bye for now.